Alright. <clears throat> Wasn't planning on shooting yet, but barely walked like 200 yards and not back to the spot I plan on hunting, but there's a jackrabbit right up there, so I'm gonna try to get him. Those clump of bushes on the side of the hill, that's where I just saw him. Also, it sounds like we're gonna run into some quail up here. Oh, okay, that's where they were. <laughs> So that jack was right in here. He was right in the middle. I don't know if he ran up or if he's behind this bush now. He's probably still in there. I'm gonna pass for now because I want to get way back in here. There's a spot I want to get to. I mean, he was right there though. He'll be there when we come back. All right, finally got a chance to get out and hunt. Uh, recently moved, still in California, but I'm up more in the uh, moved up north a bit. So all new hunting spots. Um, but man, there's way more uh, way more opportunities. I think we'll have a lot of videos coming soon. But today. Gonna get up on, gonna hunt this valley, get up on top of that hill. Wanted to set a trail cam out here and uh, just see what's moving around. So let's see, do I climb up first? You know what, I will go up first. I wasn't planning on it, but we're gonna go, we're gonna get to the top of the hill first. We'll walk the top of the hill, we'll come down, make a giant U, walk the valley back. go down but that huh. I think I missed that one man Whew, it's a bummer I gotta go check I don't know where my shot oh there it is man I think I'm a little rusty. I tried to shoot in front of him. I'm pretty sure I shot behind him. I didn't bring all that many shells because I figured, you know, only want two or three jackrabbits. Oh, that guy's still, okay, I did hit him, hit him in the back. All right, I'm gonna dispatch him. All right, that's the first jackrabbit. He's a pretty nice one. Man, these rabbits actually have real nice fur, and I'm not seeing, is that a, is there a tick in there? No. Had this weird bald spot on his back, like something got to him at some point. Or maybe that's just his winter coat coming off, but uh, that guy was tough. <sighs> Also, almost uh, no ticks on these guys. Um, a lot cleaner than the ones I'm used to shooting out in the desert, which is nice. But uh, now that we're getting into them, I saw two other jackrabbits. We'll, uh, we'll take a break, get the heart rate down, and then go uh, looking for more. They were right in here. I saw a few ears popping out while I've been standing here, so we'll circle around, see if we can get one or, one or two more. So I think I might go up and just do a big circle around this whole thing and come back. I didn't want to 
not shoot him too close and he got out there and I just kind of hesitated was waiting for the perfect shot but uh, he went right over there right between that rock and that bush okay there's the pond I remember there being a pond over here but that jackrabbit ran right through here up around I saw him kind of drop it looked like he went up that way but then I couldn't see him after that Holy whiff, man, I am rusty. He was right there. I think, I think I shot a good distance behind him too. Well, good thing I brought more than three shells. Oh, a deer. It was bedded down in there, I think. All right, it's been about two hours since I missed that last uh, jackrabbit. My plan was to get on top of here, walk the whole thing, um, go down the backside, and then hunt the valley all the way back. But uh, there's just a lot of cows up on top of this hill today. And uh, every time I've come across these jackrabbits, it's been right next to cows. Where, I don't, I don't want to be shooting right next to the cows, so we're just going to go back to that same uh, road I walked up, see if those jackrabbits have kind of calmed down over there, see if we can jump a few more, and yeah, we'll start uh, going down from there. I'd like to get one more jackrabbit at least. Jesus, these fucking jackrabbits are tough, dude. Yeah. I normally use three inch number threes for jackrabbits, but I thought most of my thinking my shots today were going to be real close like bush to bush so I was using some lighter stuff yeah. oh he's not even done yet man these jackrabbits are tough all right I'm gonna finish him off real quick well didn't have to finish him off turned out he was just uh still had some twitches going yeah I hit him up towards the neck yeah, he's still twitching a bit, but again, get that blood off. I mean, not humongous, but uh, that's good, and they're pretty. They're real, they're way cleaner than the ones I'm used to, like. I'm not seeing any ticks. Is that a flea? No. Yeah, I'm excited. So two, two is enough to do what I was planning on doing with them, which is some cooking stuff. 
Jeez, I think I'm, is that one, two? I am two for five on shots. Not great, but I'll be honest, I'm tired. I'm breathing kind of hard. It's getting a little warm. It's, I thought it was going to be dark all day. I thought it was going to rain again. When I first got here, there was tons of clouds, but yeah, two decent sized jackrabbits. So I'm going to pack him up and keep going. I might, uh, I mean, two is enough for what I wanted to do, but I, uh, I might pop a third if he gives me a chance. Oh. <sighs> all right, got him bagged up. Uh, we're going to get back on the main trail to get down and out of here. I'll hunt on the way down if I see something, but it's a little bit past noon. I didn't realize I've been out here so long. Got a little bit of work I got to do. So yeah, if something presents itself, I'll put the, I'll keep the GoPro running, but if not, uh, just going to start hiking out to the car. All right. So we're back home. Um, didn't get to cooking yesterday. It's the next day. It's actually the next afternoon. Um, I just had some of the jackrabbit for lunch, and I could say that these jackrabbits have a, a much like more mild flavor. It's not as, I guess, gamey is what you would call it. It's uh, yeah, the same flavor, just a little tamer. So really good. I just actually had some of the jackrabbit for lunch. I just uh, cooked up some of the back strap with some fries just to see how it tastes. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty good. So uh, this is making baked beans. Looking pretty good getting along there. But uh, I started making it this morning. It's real easy. Um, I'm just gonna play the clips and do like a voiceover of uh, the whole process. All right, so first thing we added in just, uh, just a little bit of butter and uh, pretty big a uh, diced up white onion. We're just gonna get that in there early cause it's gonna take a while to kind of uh, start to caramelize. Then we got our uh, three back straps here. And uh, if you're gonna do this, you really need to take off the the silver skin, you can see these pieces are nice and clean, all red. If you leave that silver skin on there, it, it's going to be tough. That's part of the reason people complain about jackrabbits. It's just, it'll be chewy and when you throw it in the pan, it's going to uh, shrivel up kind of like fish skin will do. And so we're going to get those uh, get those back straps in a bowl. Going to go ahead. This is something I've been experimenting with to make me a little bit more tender, a little bit sweeter. I'm going to let it soak in some uh, 7 Up. This stuff's called Starry. I think it's just like a generic brand. But we're going to get that in there. Uh, throw it in the fridge. Three to four hours is what I'd say. I think if you go longer than that, um, it gets a little too soft and starts breaking down even more. I think three to four hours is the perfect consistency for me. So once that onion starts to uh, kind of turn translucent, starts sweating out, I like to add some brown sugar in there. Uh, makes it sweeter. Helps it caramelize a little bit faster or at least get to that like caramelized uh, flavor. Plus I like to use, I'll be adding barbecue sauce later on and I typically get the sugar-free barbecue sauce. If you're just adding like regular baby rays, you probably don't need the brown sugar. But after three or four hours, we're just gonna pull that uh, meat out of the fridge. You see it definitely changes color on the outside. It um, takes away that like deep red and it really tenderizes. If you ever had jackrabbit, it can be a little tough, but here uh, spoon in go the spoon goes in there uh, pretty easily. Not a whole lot of pressure, but that's like, this is only three and a half to four hours. So you don't want to overdo it. So I just end up chopping this up into cubes. Uh, the one thing I'll change next time I do this recipe is I would cut it to probably half the size I have it here. Probably would have cut the back straps uh, in half lengthwise first and then cubed it. These just uh, end up being pretty big chunks of meat for uh, baked beans. I was going to get cast iron, get it kind of hot, let that butter get in there, melt, get a little brown. And we're just going to cook that meat. Just let it get a little uh, browned up on the outside. Um, doesn't take long. You don't have to cook it all the way through because... It's going to be in a crock pot for a few hours after this step anyways. So you see what I mean? Just, just get that little color on the outside. Then we're just going to take that off the stove. Uh, try to get some of that sauce with it. Because we want that. Um, we want to put that in the crock pot. This is basically all the rest of your ingredients. It's just going to be uh, two cans of navy beans. 
some molasses, whatever barbecue sauce you want. I like Kinder's, uh, garlic, no sugar, but Walmart didn't have that today, so I just went with the uh, Sweet Baby Ray's sugar-free, and you can see that uh, onion's really starting to get brown and caramelized. It's been in there for hours at this point. So yeah, we're just gonna add in the meat. And basically at this point, um, most of the work is done. We're just kind of mixing it all together. And then just throughout the day, you're gonna check it. Just throw that meat in there. Mix in your beans, your molasses. You know, uh, how much, I just kind of go off of when it looks like a kind of a darker brown color, color of baked beans. And so tossing in that barbecue sauce this is all up to you how much you want. I will say once you uh, let this sit for a while, you will have to at some point if you're cooking it all day, add some water. Um, once it's about like 75% done, I like to add about a cup of hot water. I kind of let it get to the point where uh, it's a little soupier than I would want it for when I eat it. Then I let it cook for another hour and it gets like this consistency right here, kind of uh, thicker. Overall, I'd give this probably, I think it's an 8 out of 10. I mean, it's baked beans. You could do this with any meat and it's going to taste good. Uh, this jackrabbit, though, flavor-wise and tender-wise, this is the best I've had it come out so far. I think uh, soaking it in the soda really makes a big difference. You can see it. You could cut it with a chip right there. Yeah, it came out really good. You could do this with any meat. And that's it. I'll have some more uh, cooking stuff coming up soon here. I got a few things I want to experiment with jackrabbits. Just got to find the time to get out there and do it. Thanks.